Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you an exciting new feature in Google Slides that allows you to record yourself and your slideshow presentation while you're in slides. So if you do not see this feature yet, it does slowly roll out across your Google domain where you are. So I just noticed mine for the first time today. Um, I know some people in my district don't see it yet. They might see it tomorrow. And I know some people maybe even saw it a day or two before me. So if you don't see it yet, you probably will soon. And this feature is really exciting because it can be used for a variety of different things. If you are someone who loves to use Google Slides, use them on a regular basis, this could be really helpful for you if you need to make a video option for students for a direct lecture, a mini lesson, something like that. You're already planning on using slides, why not make a video? It's great for if you're doing blended learning stations, maybe you're doing a playlist model where it's self-paced, but you still want to have some teacher presence at that station. It's also great for doing little short videos for specific students. If you would like uh, sub plans, e-learning, all these different ways you can use it. Um, so where you'll see this button is at the very top right corner of your screen. If you don't see it yet, you will soon. And I'll click record and I'll do record new video. And it's probably going to wig out here for a second because I'm using my camera to record this and now you see me on the screen twice. But this is what the shape of the video looks like. It's kind of this nice little like drop shaped uh, video icon. And the first time you do this, it'll probably ask you for permission to use your camera and your microphone. So you'll want to click allow. And if you don't see that, and you're having sound issues, you might have to click your cash and cookies and then go to your settings menu to see what your video options are and select the correct one. And once we have this, um, I can turn off my microphone if I want it to be more of just like me pointing to different things. Um, I can turn off my camera, if maybe, you know, I'm doing this for a sub plan and I don't want to be on camera. You have those flexibility, those options. All right. So what you'll do to start recording is if I click this record button, I'll allow it to use my tab audio and then we'll go. And it's tell me that it's sharing my screen. It does a really quick countdown and then it has my presentation right here and I'm over here. I can move my little video around the screen if I need to, in case it's covering some of my content. I can move it there, I can make it bigger. If I would like, move it to the top, wherever I would like it to go, I can move it there and I'll probably go back to the size that I was. Uh, and then I can open my speaker notes too. Maybe if I wanted to pull that over on another tab so I can see if I have some notes there for me, reminders of things to say. But otherwise I am in full presentation mode and I'm just gonna be there in that bottom right corner. So I can go through, talking through my newsletter and all these different things. I'm still kind of working on some of those pieces, but it's a really exciting feature for you to use. It could be really good if you're having students do video presentations. So in my district, we have Screencastify, which you have unlimited recording time. With this type of recording tool, you only, the Google Slides recording can only be 30 minutes long. But uh, if your students need a recording option with slides, if they want to do this versus stand up in front of in front of the class for a presentation, this could be a really good option and it saves in their Google Drive. So it's easy for them to grab it, send it to you, host it elsewhere. So whenever I'm finished, I'll click the stop button and I can re-record if I would like. Otherwise, I'll just click save to drive and it's gonna save there. And it takes a little bit to upload. I will say if you have a longer video that's probably over 10 minutes long, it's gonna take it a little bit longer. So it's not gonna be instant available for you to access. But as it uploads, you'll see it come up in your Google Drive uh, under your recents. And it will probably just name it after this Google Slides presentation and timestamp it for the day. So you'll see it there. And then you can easily click the share button to share with other people should you need to and embed it in other places if that's more of your style. So really cool feature and thought I would share that with you all today. If you don't see this yet, you probably will soon. It will be available in all Google domains and types. And here we go. It shows me that I have a recording available uh, and I can record a new one if I would like in the same presentation of the same presentation, or I can access that as well. So it processes it and then we're good to go. So if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise have fun and happy recording.